Hi guys, it's Rachel here and I can't tell you what time it is. It's very late. It's quarter past six and I nearly have to go off and cook dinner. And I nearly wasn't going to do a video today because it's just been a meh day, as Lulu would say. Um, but if, you know, I, I need to do day, what is it, 14. Uh, right, so first of all, how are you all? I hope you're not having a meh day like me. Um, meh, you meant to say meh. If you say, how was your day? You go, meh. It means it's a bit, mm -mm. it's just, you know, just the brain. The brain is a bit meh. Anyway, um, so I don't know what type of video you're going to get. But um, first of all, before I get going, I wanted to just see, I did do a few things. Now, I haven't done any more on there. I've done writing on there. I did put a block print there and I wrote what I did there. And then I've got to uh, do all the, uh, compare this year to last year. And then here... I added those because I felt like those two spaces needed something. I also added the snowy sort of look around here. I wrote because we actually had quite a nice day that day. And um, and so and then I also added just a little bit of the block print up there because I felt like it just made it a bit more balanced. Yeah. So I'm just going to do this spread here. It may not be a very long video. Um, we will see. I'm going to do things you are grateful for. I'm going to put that page down. I won't write it. I don't like, I won't, don't write on the, on camera because I need to quite often think about it. So, um, I like to do that off camera just because I feel, I feel observed. I wonder why. <laughs> so, it's just one of those days and it's cold my feet are cold i've been cold all day just you know those days when they're just it's just one of those off days really it's just all i can say um it's, it's not like you know nothing's happened it's just i woke up with no i didn't wake up with it i didn't even did my exercises so i should be happy about that but um I don't know just it's just in the brain in the brain oh now see what i'm liking here i did a bit of block printing today that made me happy here's some more i'm liking the red and the turquoisey blue so i think i'm going to somehow incorporate this paper or maybe this one um a little bit of red on this page over here but i do need to be able to write so i think i might go go back to this one you know tear it across there And I'm going to put it there, I think. Yeah, why not? Um, and I'm not going to cover a lot of this up because I really like that. And I would and I would tear that page out. If, when I were to throw out the magazine, I would tear that page out. So, um, so there you go. Okay, so Lily's going to tell me when it's seven if I take longer than that. Um, so that way I can go and um, finish preparing the dinner. Right. Oh, well, you know what else I might put in? Let's have a look at my mark making papers. I forget about those. And let's not lose our little prompty do. Um, oh, look, I could even write on there. So I can decorate a little bit. So I've, I've just clipped everything together. What, you know, all the, no, I don't want those pages. I don't know why they keep coming back to me to haunt me. They're haunting me. Um, so I just clipped everything together. So it's really easy to um, grab a hold of all of these um, new printable sort of things that I've got going on and all of these little pieces of paper. I might just pull that one out. Well, let's just remove Tracy's lovely creature, creature, Creature Christmas labels, love junk journals. Um, and so I'll just remove those and just seeing if there's any colours on here that grab me. There are. Probably not so much those ones. Oh, and Wendy's having a Zoom call tonight. She'll probably <laughs> be happy that I'll, I'll be asleep when it's on, but <laughs> it's probably a good thing because I was a bit of a chatterbox last time. So... Someone else can talk. Right. I might like a piece of this one. Or, because it's got the turquoise. Or maybe, oh, I think I might like this one. So I think I might like to tear it down here. I did have a question for Wendy too. But I can't ask it because I'll be asleep. I'm not going to stay up for that. 
because you know two o'clock in the morning i'll be a zombie tomorrow um oh i think i put that there. will i put it there or there because i quite like the script now i think i'll put it over here i put it over there i i really am enjoying all of this this um painted stuff it's just so much fun now what inspired me to do this type of journal so you remember but not long ago my sister sarah roxy creations by sarah she did a flip through of the journal that i had made her it was one of the it was right at the beginning i don't think i'd even sold a journal before um when i made that for sarah um and i knew that she would like i knew she would love it and she she didn't even know what they were and so i had sent it to her and she went cray cray and if you, you can go and watch her video oh I always forget to put my, I was going to say I'll link it below. Um, I might not forget this time because there might be not such a, a big time lapse between when I post it and when I make it. Um, anyway, I'll link the video below. I will try to remember of my sister's flip through um, when she um, decorated. Uh, no, she showed the journal that I made her. And she went banana. And I was so impressed by her creative abilities, her decorative abilities, I should say. Um, I was really, really, really impressed. And I was like, oh, my goodness, I could not do that. I couldn't do that if I tried. And, um, and so um, I thought, well, this year I'm going to do the December daily. And I'm going to, but I'm not going to do the December daily in the traditional sense of the word. I'm going to do it um, decorating it, being creative in it. And so that's what we're doing. And that was inspiration came from my sister. And then to get me going, I just, I did sort of um, look around different channels. But I don't, there was, I really am doing my own thing, to, if I'm honest. I'm not really looking at anybody's or doing that anything that anybody else has done i don't think oh, i've got these so i'm running out of painted things got that cute. i might cut those two my little snowman's hat's on the perforated bit there so i'll just hang on to that you see i won't and um, i didn't like that that was ugly that did not turn out well at all i'll be nice to it and not snip it oh oh those love the way I just do that just get the big scissors in there and give it a snip away snip a -roo. there we go right I might like the snowman will I cut out the snowman snow person yes so um and I forgot to put the links in the other videos. Now, the first video, Heather's channel, I, I, I had originally uploaded it, as I said, the ones with the, the pretty um, sparkle larkle tags. Um, now, I, um, I had posted that. Um, I had actually put Heather's link in the original post. But what happened was then, as I said, I discovered that it was blurry in the beginning and then for one lady it went dark. I think only two people, a few people had watched it um, and I had those two comments and I th I was thank you for those, thankful for those comments because then I was able to um, go in. I didn't like that bit um, and I eliminated it and then re-uploaded it the next day. However, however, I did forget to link Heather's channel. As you all saw so it's in the description box now with the sparkle larkle tags um, and the bit where I was inspired from Heather was using the sparkles the inspiration I think I mentioned it in the video oh you might have missed it um, the inspiration I might have no I don't want that there after all of that um, the inspiration for um, the the actual tag the way it was done was just a photograph I saw on um, Pinterest and it might have been one of those photographs where you click on it and you just get the photograph just opens up so I don't even know whose it was um, but there's quite a lot of that sort of thing lots of people do that sort of thing on and they're shared on Pinterest so that's where I got the idea for the the tag 
the style of tag and then I had watched Heather's video a while ago and um, I like that put that um, I had I had um, I've gone quiet while I think about it yeah that's going to blend in there so maybe we need to have this well, maybe I'll put something there, put it down there, put it up there, put it over there. Uh, I think I like this more over here. And put the things you were grateful for there. I'll put this down here or up there or over there. I want to cover up all the painting. I think I'll put it there. I like it smack bang there. Right, yes, yeah, so um, I have since added heather's um channel because she's makes beautiful things she's well worth watching um and then in the next video because you've got two yesterday maybe that's why i'm having a bit of a flop of a day today um but i didn't do them both in one day so this that's not really my excuse is it um uh the next video was the december daily and i said that i had come across emily and she has a Japanese last name, and um, but she's English, and um, and I just I came across her because I looked up, I think I looked up December Daily on YouTube, and I came across her, and um, I really like what she does. I think she's lovely to listen to, and I really like what she does, and so um, I wanted to share her with you. I did. And yesterday it didn't seem like it because I forgot to add it into the description because, oh yeah, Steph, that, that, it's true, Stefano's been on the computer a lot. He's been, he's been using up the computer time and so I haven't been able to, you know, get on there. It's always a bit of a rush. I like that. Um, so, because he's doing a, some sort of render sort of job for someone. And so I hadn't been able to, I had to quickly upload it. That's what it was. And I had to quickly write the description. And then I didn't even think about it anymore. And then I realized I had forgotten. Well, no, I didn't realize. Someone told me this morning. I haven't even answered any of the comments this morning today. I've got comments on two videos to answer. That'll take a while. I like that. I covered up that brown bit. You see, I didn't like that. That's what was getting me there. And I'm going to put my 14 on there. And I do like that. And I wonder, now do I have enough to write for what I'm grateful for? Because, you know, it could end up being quite a long list of things that I'm grateful for. I don't often say those things, but I do think them. Um, yeah, I'm not a, you know, I don't go on about those things, but I do, I do appreciate things and I am grateful for things. I just don't um, vocalise it as much. I think about it, but I don't vocalise it. Um, so this is a good exercise for me to put it down into words. So I'm thinking I've got that space there. I can certainly write there and I can write over there. And what I might do is I might make a flippity dip. Um, I'll tell you why. Because if I don't use it for, I don't think I'll have, you know, I don't, I don't write big long things. So it'd probably just be words. But I could make a, a, a flip because, um... I think I could add a photograph to it if I wanted to or do some drawing on it or something like that if I didn't use, if I weren't to use it I could do something like that so those colors aren't really doing it for me so she she kind of goes so we'll keep her aside or I could make one from scratch I quite like that one too oh isn't she cute I like that one no you see, I could make one. I've got empty postcards here. See, I quite like that. Maybe I'll make one. Let me check out the empty postcards that I've got. Not many left, I don't think. Such cute. Some of these, some of these old um, postcards, they're a little bit scary, the faces, but those ones are cute. I love that image. Oh, I love that. Did I ever post that one? See, that one would work really well as colours. I could put it onto that, maybe trim it down a bit further and put it on there 
so sweet. Um, and then I've got those lovely ones that Steph did for me, the postcards. They're cute. I like those. Um, no, I won't use those. I've used those before. I think I'll use these two. Let's have a look. I want to use things. I don't want to end up finishing with a million things. But I will end up finishing with a million things. Of course I will, but because it's me. But um, I do want to use them. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to... You know what I'm going to try to do, even though I don't have very much room to do it with, is I'm going to put my ruler on there and I'm going to try to tear it. I might need to get out of the way book. You're in my way. Why are you in my way? I don't know. Okay. Right. I didn't I didn't put enough pressure on that one, so I'll have to come back to that. Try again. Push down hard. Got to push down hard on these rulers, otherwise they slip everywhere. Okay, I like that with that edge. It is covering up the whole postcard. So I might not do the postcard thing. What I might do is instead... Um, Use some book page and put a background. Put those over there. So how big will that be? Oh yes, that'll be good. So if I glue that, I actually need to glue it very well because um, I don't want bits popping up because I'm not stitching so when you're not stitching you need to glue very well right and when I say very well I mean right to the edge because you don't want your base paper to open up and be gaping gaping at the sides okay so that's that so that's my base now I'm going to grab my cutter which is here oh gosh I had things on my cutter. They're all on the floor now. So I just sort of move this out of the way. Okay. Get, get ourselves together. So that's about four inches wide. I'm just going to trim that little bit off. And that's going to be good. Okay, so now I need to cover this. bring our book back so we can see our colors here and I'll put those away afterwards and I just want to flip my book thing over I'll pull out these I'm gonna have some of these oh I will cover it up quite a bit though but I could put that there yes we're just gonna go around the edge we'll just put things around the edge that's the outer the outer edge and that way bring my glue And I am going to hinge it with the washi tape because that is the easiest way to do it when your book is already constructed and you're not going to stitch it down or anything like that. You can just hinge it with the washi. Just trim off the excess there. Now I saw Wendy, I think someone told me about it and I didn't know what it was. I watched Wendy's video the other day and I saw that she had, which is amazing, this, um, I think it's, it's a tonic um, decal edge um, thing, cutter. And it did really look amazing to me. Um, and I know someone, one of you told me about it, that I should get one. And I did have a look on Amazon to see if I could get one, but I didn't, I couldn't find it. So I'm going to have another look. Um, now that I know it's by tonic. 
and see if I can find it. Because it did look good. And then I might put a bit of this one, I think. Maybe I'll put that one across the bottom, even that blobby bit there. And these, I block printed these on, um, on, it's just newsprint paper and it's a very, it's fairly thin, it's very nice, I like it. I got a big packet of it from um, Amazon and I saw Heidi McGregor, she was printing old letters on it and I really liked the look of them and I could hear them sort of rustle when she was um, moving them and I just liked them. I just liked the thought of it. And maybe I'll have a piece of this. I haven't used any of this yet. And I can just tear it there and that will fit there. It's a bit of a patchwork of um, papers. But I didn't want to waste all the papers and have them going in the center of this flip because otherwise, um, you know, this is going on there. And I love that with all the different papers there. So there we go. So that just came together just, just like that. Okay, so we're going to glue this down. Oh, I'm glad I did a video. Now I'm feeling like I'm getting all my frustrations out. I guess I'm just like chatting to my friends. And I never chat to my friends. And so this is a great help. So thank you guys for putting up with me. Okay, so put that there. Do I, I might, you know what I might need? I might need a little stamp some sort. Isn't that pretty? I like how that turned out. Okay. Oh, I need to do the back. The back. I'm admiring my handiwork and not doing the back. So, do I want to put that on there? Is that boring? It could be boring. I could put I think I might like one of my painted papers on there. I'm thinking I might like these. See these colours? They are going really... I think they go with all the colours on the front. So I think that's going to go on the back. And I'm going to put it... I'll have to put it that way. That's okay, because then you just use a strip of that for... Um, you know, you stick it down somewhere. Stick it down somewhere. Make more. I need to do more. I need to practice. Gather up all the stuff for mark making and get on with it. Get over my fears. We've all got fears, don't we? We're all scared of doing things. We need to get over it. And I'm you're the first one that needs to get over it. So you're not alone if you have fears. It's a busy old mess there, but I like it, I do, or I wouldn't put it on there. So I'm going to trim that down. I can't believe I'm using these papers. I told you I was so upset with them when I first did them. I really didn't like them. And now I'm happy with them. Now, what did I say about gluing it down properly? Is there glue there? Yes. Lucky. Okay, it's nice and thick now. When that dries, that's really going to stiffen up. Okay, so I'm very happy with that. Yeah, I think I've got glue everywhere. I like that. And I like the colours with this page. And so now all I, all I need to do is hinge it. Very, another very um, eclectic page. Now, I don't want my, I'm going to have to be careful putting my washi tape. Excuse me while I get it off the floor here. Don't fall over, garbage bin. I'm going to have to be careful with the washi tape because I don't want to cover all of that up. So what I'll do is I'll put it more, and which one do I want to use? I'm bringing it up. Well, I can't, I don't want to cover up my page because I need to see. Um, I would really like this one, I think. Yeah, I would. 
So let's hope it tears. Because you remember these ones that I got the kids. I hope they're not having issues with it. But be careful tearing them. Because they break off. You don't get a nice long strip. Maybe that's why there was two packets in there. No, this one's working. Oop, that'll do. This is quite sticky too. So I'm not going to worry about um, putting. So I'll have a right. You won't be able to see because I'm. I'm, I'm looking, I have it near me. Okay, so I've got more. I've got more hanging over than I do on because I don't want to cover up all of the handiwork with the card. So then I need to go here. So let's go back to the links. The links are in the description box of the previous videos. Okay, if that aren't, if that helps. So if you want to see Emily, you need to go to the to the December daily video, day thirteen. And if you want to get Heather's link, you need to go to um, let's see if we want a different one. Um, you need to go to um, the the um, Emily's link. I'm going to say it again. This color is going to be good, I think. Um, Oh, no, what about this one? But that one's not very wide. That would be nice. We might put that one somewhere. Um, Emily's link, so is in day 13 of the December Daily, if you want to watch her. And I highly recommend because she's doing super fun, super fun way of um, doing the December Daily. There's a lot of painting going on, a lot of decorating, a lot of fun. Um, different to me, different to what I'm doing. So you won't be watching the same thing. It's totally different really really fun and she she goes to town on her pages and i think that's really fun when you allow yourself to go to town on your pages um so there we go there's the flippity gibbet i like that love this page i thought that was a beautiful um page in the daphne's diary i wouldn't have thrown that one out as i said um and i'm going to put this washi tape somewhere um yeah so she does it totally differently and then if you want to see um heather's channel that's in the that is in the um, sparkly tag in the in the monotones video. So now I've got two washi tapes going like that. That was a bit silly. I wasn't thinking I was talking. Well, we might have this one going in a direction, I think. And I say that, but then I look over to my bundle <laughs> to see if there's something else I prefer. And I this is a super old IKEA one, probably four or five. Maybe I got it. No, I wouldn't have got it four years. It was when I first started. Probably three years ago I got it. And I love it. With the sketchy, sketchy Christmas trees. I'll put that one up there. Down there. I think I like it down there. I know they're all vertical, but that's just the way it is on this page. There we are. Now, I'm sorry I do do some things off screen. It's just not because I'm mean. It's just like... They come to me after the video, like this came to me after the video and those came to me after the video. So I do have to sometimes, um, when I was sitting down to write, and then I wrote the names, and when I sit down to write or something, it just comes to me, oh, I want to add that or that. So then I try to point, remember and point them out to you. Um, and I love that on there, that pop of red. Um, I try to point them out to you um, in the next video if I added anything I don't think I've added anything else to those pages they're all as they were yeah so there we go I managed to do a video today I can't believe that and I'm really happy with it that's a crazy page over there it's really crazy but I'm glad to keep it because you know it's a memory of of December what I did in December anyway and some block printing I like the block printing there's going to be more of that happening anyway okay I'm going to stop gas bagging I'm going to go and cook the dinner and I will see you again tomorrow. Bye. Oh, I didn't turn you off. Sorry, I'm still here. Oh, I can't turn you off. <laughs>